Information from the Ukrainian Frontline Day 624 Over the past day, 78 combat engagements took place. In the Bakhmut sector, Ukrainian troops repelled about 30 enemy attacks in the areas of Bodinivka, Kromov, Klishchivka and Andrivka in Donetsk region. In turn, the Ukrainian defense forces continue their assault operations south of Bakhmut in Donetsk region, inflicting losses in manpower and equipment on the enemy and consolidating their positions. In the Avdiivka sector, Russian troops continue to try to encircle Avdiivka. Ukrainian soldiers are steadfastly holding the line and inflicting significant losses on the occupiers. The enemy's offensive in the areas of Keramik, Stepov, Avdiivka, Severn and Pervomaysk in Donetsk region was unsuccessful. The defense forces repelled more than 10 enemy attacks there. At the same time, the Ukrainian defense forces continue to conduct offensive operations in the Melitopol sector, inflicting losses in manpower and equipment on the occupation forces and exhausting the enemy along the entire front line. In the Kherson sector, the defense forces are conducting counter-battery combat, inflicting fire on the enemy's rear. Over the past day, the aviation of the defense forces carried out 12 strikes on the areas of concentration of personnel, weapons and military equipment and three strikes on enemy anti-aircraft missile systems. The missile troops destroyed eight artillery pieces, three ammunition depots, four areas of concentration of personnel, weapons and military equipment, three air defense facilities, a radar station, three electronic warfare stations and another important enemy target. A freight train has derailed in Russia because of interference by unauthorized persons. It is reported that 19 wagons were reportedly derailed due to the interference of unauthorized persons in Russia's Ryazan Oblast. The authorities claim that this did not affect the movement of passenger trains, but there are no details. Valery Zaluzhnyi, commander-in-chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, reported that within a month of the occupiers' active assaults on the city of Avdiivka, the defense forces of Ukraine killed about 10,000 Russian occupiers, 7 Su, 25 aircraft and a lot of other equipment, quote, It has been a month since the enemy started an active assault on Avdiivka. This was a month of fierce battles, stamina and courage of our defenders who continue heroically holding the defense. During this time our soldiers destroyed over 100 Russian tanks, 250 other armored vehicles, about 100 artillery systems and 7 Su-25 aircraft. The total losses of the Russians in manpower are about 10,000 people. Subscribe to our channel so you can follow the latest events from Ukraine. Your support helps us grow and spread awareness to a larger audience.